One of my favorite things to do is to go shopping to thrift stores and I love buying used clothes, um, not because they're used, but because you can find things that you can't generally find in stores that, that, that's new or, or that's kind of interesting because a lot of a lot of the times people buy things because they see other people wearing it so you're kind of copying somebody. I don't really like that, but for myself, I don't like that. One of the things I got was this pair of snow pants and the research that I did on them, they're Austrian snow pants and um, they look kind of military. They have some, they have buttons and a, um, I don't know, to, to make it tighter at the knee. This is right below the knee. And then at the bottom they're elasticized cuffs at the bottom which is really nice. And then you can expand the bottom if you want to go over over boots or or whatever you're doing so the the bottom of the pant leg can be expanded they're super comfortable they're tons warm crazy warm and they have um, built-in suspenders these are a little bit small on me but I wanted them small because if they were bigger they would be wider and I'm pretty skinny so so if I wear them with these down they tend to sit a little bit lower like um, like modern jeans so they look pretty cool that way but if I have the suspenders up then they ride a bit higher and then I can wear my high tops or I can wear um, hiking boots or winter boots and they look fine and they I don't know these are really cool they're super warm they're insulated um, I'm pretty sure they're wool um, here it says uh, here's say guntum um, from what I did research on that's uh, army property and so that's why I'm assuming that they're they're uh, they're um, military pants. And then the other tag says E Herbst. Oh, I should have researched that. I wonder what that meant or what that means. I'll put that in this the description below. But then it goes Oberstoff or Oberstoff 100% bomb wool, which I'm guessing is wool. And then Futter Futter or whatever. It's 100% polymid, which is probably. Um, uh, acrylic fiber or plastic and I think that's what the liner is so it's so it's wool and with a polyester liner which that's what I'm assuming I'll, re I'll do research on the tag I didn't even see that tag I'll do research on the tag and then I'll put that in, in the description below but these were these are pretty good buy they're a little bit um, from what I saw online these were like a hundred dollars and I paid like 30 bucks or something like that I think even less I think twenty dollars and um, so they have double pockets, so there's a pocket that goes into these pants and then another pocket that goes through into the pants that you would wear under these if you were to do that. And then uh, there's a button to close the pocket that goes into the pants below these or under these pants. And then, um, and then there's a button flap pocket that goes over the, the, the pants pocket. They look really cool on. They're, they're, they're super warm, like I said. There's uh, there there are cargo pockets that aren't too big and bulky and don't flap out, and they they look nice from the front and from the back. There's no pockets in the back, but that's just because of the style. Maybe I don't think I can find material like these to make a pocket, but I don't know. We'll see. I'm, I doubt it. So that's one pair of pants. The the next thing I got was this shirt. It's a Woodward's retro shirt, and um, yeah, it's it's wool. It says uh, on the tag it says 85% wool and 15% uh, nylon. I'm guessing the nylon, the 15% comes from this, and maybe the thread. And yeah, but otherwise it's this one is super itchy. The arms are a little bit short on me. Like I said, I have long arms. But if I just roll up the sleeve and just wear it like that, then it looks totally cool. But this one. I, I love this shirt. It's one of my favorite plaid shirts that I've seen lately. It's a, it's a different kind of plaid than what I've seen. And I think now for this season and going into the next seasons, they're going to start coming out with this kind of plaid pattern, which I've seen on a couple shirts um, just recently shopping on Robson Street in Vancouver. Um, they're, it's, it's getting to a more classic plaid pattern. The reason why I, I suggest that it's retro is because of the, the collar. It's cut very kind of like 60s or 70s style, but or maybe even into the 80s. I don't think so though, but it could be. So, but it fits fine with it rolled up. the 
the the width on my shoulders is almost just about right maybe a little bit small but the the width in the chest is right it's it's and the length is right for my body I'm a bit taller and um, about a medium large so I'm a t I'm a large tall or my height I'm large and then um width I'm a medium large and yeah I, I really love this shirt I've, I've worn it already tons of but I don't know maybe too much but I like it the next thing I got was this it's a uh, Eddie Bauer it's a uh, it's uh, considered retro when I did my research online. I'm not sure what year it's from. It's a, it's a goose down. Pretty, uh, yeah, down vest, Eddie Bauer, from the Canada Goose there. Um, so this is, uh, I love this vest. I'm, I, I've never really been into vests. I bought a vest maybe three weeks ago for the first time really ever. And that vest, um, I bought it because it was stylish. That Well, I thought it was stylish. I think it's stylish. But that's why I bought it. And then I saw this one just uh, yesterday. I was shopping with my sister. We, we go, um, we go uh, like, vintage hunting all the time together. Um, more, not, not as much as I'd like to, but we, we go every so often. But I saw this, and I had to get it. It's a little bit short on me, but my legs are a bit longer, and my torso is a bit shorter, so it, it looks fine, um, which I, I, don't, I don't mind at all. So, just, I, I, if I wear a sweater underneath this, then it gets really puffy and then really short. So it looks kind of funny that way. But if I just wear it over top, say, this shirt, over top of that shirt, then I'm fine. Except for, right now, it's getting to be about zero degrees during the day here in Vancouver. Which is a little bit too cold to wear um, short sleeves. Uh, we get a little bit different cold, from what I understand, than other places. So, so it really gets into your bones or whatever. That's what they say here. But anyways, this I love this vest, I love this shirt combo, and I love it with the jeans that I have because the ones that I'm wearing are a little bit tapered, or not tapered, they're a bit skinny, not skinny jeans, but they're skinnier. And it looks it looks great with the, the, the wool pants that I just showed you, looks great with the other wool pants that I got. Um, I really enjoy the three things that I found, and they were very inexpensive, and I plus uh, at a... Uh, at one of the thrift stores, you, you collect enough stamps for every purchase that you buy or whatever. Every $5, you get a stamp. And then eventually, those add up to 30% off. So I take advantage of that all the time. And um, I wish that stores had that everywhere. That'd be, that'd be so crazy if you went to every store and you get a stamp and then eventually you get 25% off, 20% off. You know how many return customers those, those stores would have? Uh, I'm, I'm sure that you agree with me. But anyways, this is, I, I love this vest, I love this shirt, um, I think it goes well with my complexion, with what I look, and the style that I'm trying to bring. But yeah, thank you for watching.